out of his word. Amen. Yes. We thank God thank you. Uh, for those of you that are uh, chiming in on Periscope. Yes, Amen. Lord. We uh -huh. thank God for you uh, and your persistence and, and following us. And we just ask that you would share uh, what you get from the ministry of spoken word. Yes. I'm in myself or God through me with other people and encourage them to follow along as well. Amen. Amen. Let's go into the word of God. Amen. Tonight so that we can move uh, within our designated yes, time Lord. here. Uh, we're going to look first at the book of Colossians, um, the first chapter, and then we are going to go over to second Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Amen. I just kind of want to spend a little bit more time in and making sure uh, that we realize and reconnect yes, and re-examine uh, the purpose of Jesus in our hearts, the purpose of Jesus in our lives. Amen. We preached on Good Friday service, just Jesus. Well, and we talked about um, his significance in coming and how it was his blood that was required to secure our redemption. Amen. Mm -hmm. It was his blood that washed away our sins. Amen. And so Colossians, I'm not going to teach the book of Colossians, but Colossians is another letter that Paul is writing mm -hmm. uh, to defend the heresies of false teachers. And mm -hmm. Paul writes the book of Colossians. Most believe that he wrote it actually from prison. And Epaphras, who is the leader who was the leader of the church uh, in Colossae, uh, is a word was to the place of Colossians is called Colossi, and he was the teacher there, and uh, he connected with Paul, and he was telling Paul of the different things and the different understandings that people had, and so Paul wrote this letter to Colossi or to the Colossians to one correct the gospel or the doctrine that was being taught to them by false teachers. What was happening is that they were uh, teaching vain, deceitful. Uh, and humanistic type of doctrines uh, to people to help them to, to try to understand who Jesus is. And then they were also uh, dealing with things uh, from a superficial spiritual way, a simple manner of accepting the gospel and receiving Jesus Christ. And it lacked power against the sinful desires of the body. In other words, Paul was alarmed. He was concerned because people weren't dealing with the flesh and dealing with the flesh's nature, uh, how it is really against the things of God. Amen. The scripture tells us, I believe that's Romans 8, uh, that um, the flesh or the carnal mind is enmity or hatred yes. to God. Yes. And we know that James teaches us that any friend of the world is not a friend of God. And so Paul was writing to the Colossians to help them to understand. He wanted to point out five things to them uh, that, that Jesus is the express image of the yes. invisible God. When you want to know about God, when you want to know what God is, when you look at Jesus, mm -hmm. he was teaching to people, having experienced Jesus himself, and learned even more of him from the disciples. Now, we know that Paul was not a disciple mm -hmm. of the twelve. Mm -hmm. He became an apostle, and the Bible teaches us that he actually learned from the disciples, yes. even in Acts, I think that's Acts 9, when he had his Damascus Road experience. Mm -hmm. He got up, it says that he stayed there with the disciple mm -hmm. for several days, and he learned from them, and he was taught. Uh, then Paul addresses with them that Jesus is the fullness Amen. of the Godhead. Yes. He is the fullness of God, of Amen. Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. He, he created, he told them that Jesus was a part of creation, yes. created in all things. This is the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. This is what we believe as part of the gospel, that Jesus is the head of the church and that Jesus is our all-sufficient source of salvation. Mm -hmm. We know that the only way to the Father is by Jesus Christ. Well, Pastor Anthony, what does any of this have to do with connecting people with Christ? Yeah. We've got to know. Amen. We've got to know. And I think it bears review yes. to go through the gospel teaching again, yes. to walk through the life of Jesus Christ from the vantage point of him redeeming us back to the Father. We talked about it on last week, how Jesus and God had a conversation. And Jesus said, I know this blood is insufficient mm -hmm. for what you need. So prepare me a body mm -hmm. and I'll go down mm -hmm. and I'll get it right. I'll actually die for these people. I'll give my blood so that they can be reconnected to you and do what you have called for them to do. You, Amen. So let's look at 1 Colossians, the 19th, I'm sorry, the first chapter, 
Colossians, the first chapter, the 19th verse. There is no first Colossians. If you look for that, you won't find it in the Holy Bible. I do stand uh, corrected just looking down. Colossians, the first chapter, and the 19th verse. It says, For it pleased the Father that in him, Jesus, should all fullness dwell, and having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. He's talking about Jesus mm -hmm. reconciling us back to God mm -hmm. by way of the cross. Mm -hmm. We just celebrated that this Amen. past weekend. Amen. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, mm -hmm. yet now have he reconciled. Mm -hmm. And so he's, again, remember, he's writing to people who believe. Amen. These are mm -hmm. Jews and Greeks that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And he's telling them, uh, your mind has been washed. You have been reconciled. You Thank have you, believed Jesus. the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Verse 22, in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. And so mm -hmm. this is what the blood of Jesus does for Amen. us. And Thank that in Jesus. the sight of God, Thank when we Jesus. receive the gospel, Thank when we Jesus. receive the life and the reconciling blood of Jesus Christ in our mm -hmm. lives, and we're reconciled to God by yeah. Jesus, mm -hmm. it says in Colossians uh, 1 and 22, in the body of his flesh through mm -hmm. death, this is how he reconciled yeah. us. He's coming mm -hmm. from verse 21 yeah. to present us holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. This is what yeah. we tell people when we are connecting them to Christ. Yes. When we go out to win the loss, when we go mm -hmm. out to build connections and relationships with people who don't know the Lord, this is the nature of the conversation that we have mm -hmm. with them. Amen. Mm -hmm. When we know that they haven't received the Lord. If yes. you continue in the faith, grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel that you have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under the heaven wherein I am called and made a minister. In other words, if you continue in this faith, mm -hmm. he was telling them, look, I know they're teaching you some stuff. Amen. I know they're presenting some stuff to you, but I need you to go back Amen. to this faith. Go back to the gospel mm -hmm. and how Jesus reconciled. Yes. And just like it was, in Colossae, yes. whenever yes. this letter was written, yes. the same stands true Ooh, today. God. There are Jesus. many false teachers, perhaps even more, yeah. that are teaching us that we don't have to live uh, as rigid and, and as circumspectly to the word of God. That you're under, you're under grace and you're under mercy mm -hmm. and all of these things. At the end of the day, we still have to live holy yep. and, and we have to live right. separated yes. lives yes. in yes. this present world. There is a yes. distinction yes. between righteousness yes. and unrighteousness, yes. clean yes. and unclean, yes. saved and unsaved. Everybody yes. is not saved. Yes. Everybody yes. that names the name of the Lord is not saved. Yes. Jesus even talked about it. Your, your mouth, you use your mouth to acknowledge me. You use your language mm -hmm. to talk to me. You use your language to speak of me, but your heart is far from yeah. me. Mm -hmm. And in connecting with people, we have to get Jesus from their brains, from their conscience, right? Yeah. We talked about that last yeah. week, the conscience. That's what the blood did yeah. because the animal mm -hmm. blood could not cleanse our mm -hmm. conscience mm -hmm. and our conscience being our, our thought patterns of morality mm -hmm. of right and wrong. We got to deal with that so that people mm -hmm. can get the concept of God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit out of their mm -hmm. head yes. and transfer it into right. their heart. Mm -hmm. yes. Remember when we talked about yeah. loving people, we we got to deal with the heart. And the yes. Bible teaches us that the heart is wicked yes. and deceitful mm -hmm. above all yeah. things who can know it. And so it has to be the work of Jesus' blood, mm -hmm. the work of yes. Jesus' uh, passion on the cross to deal yes. with our hearts. Jesus. And then when he changes our hearts, all right. we've got Jesus. to be able to help somebody Amen. else's heart yes. be changed. Amen. That's what we're doing you, to connect with people. And so we've got to mm -hmm. tell people, look, don't, don't be so eager to move with every wind and hey. wave of God. Right. The Bible teaches us that about the last days we'll have itching ears. 
We want mm-hmm. to hear something that's going to appease our flesh. We want mm-hmm. to hear something that's not going to sound so rigid. I grew up under the rigid traditional yes. things in church. And I understand that a lot of things I grew up under were tradition. Yes. But a lot of it was the word of God. Amen. Most of it was the word of God. I grew up in the era of it's tight, but it's right. It's right. Amen. Amen. And that's what it takes. And some of the things that I gave up, mm-hmm. I don't even miss them. Amen. I don't miss them. And so it's more important to me uh, that, that I'm doing what God has called me to do, that I'm living the way God has called me to live. Uh, my son asked me this question recently. Uh, we were sitting um, in Panera Bread last week. He was doing his homework, and I was studying the Word. And um, he said, well, what if this is all faith? Mm-hmm. Mm. He said, he said, what if this really isn't real? And I, I, and I said, that's a really good question. Amen. I've thought about the answer to that question many, many times. And you know what the conclusion I drew from that? I said, if this is not real, what it has done, it has helped me to live a peaceful Amen. life in this earth. Amen. When I lay my head to go down to sleep at night, if it's an art against somebody I have, I can deal with it. I can get it right. I don't go to sleep worried if I got any diseases. I don't go to sleep worried about where my wife is. I don't go to sleep right. worrying about if somebody going to call and say I'm the father All of their child. Right, I don't go to sleep at night All worried right, about man. if I'm going to wake up hungover with a headache. Mm-hmm. I don't go to sleep at night worried if my next doctor's appointment is going to reveal some chaotic STD <laughs> case. If, if this isn't All right, right, the mm-hmm. peace that I live with in this earth today Amen. is sufficient. Amen. If I should end up in hell Amen. with everybody else who did wrong, guess what? I just suffer my whole life through. And my faith tells me Amen. that as I continue to live Amen. according to the word of God in hell, I will not lift my eyes. I will not be talking to come somebody across a great gulf telling them to tell my family, don't come here. Yeah, I'm right. telling them now, yes. we're not going there. And I tell my household, we're going to heaven. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do what That's we've right. got to Amen. do to get to heaven. And so in connecting with people, we've got to be able to bring to them the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Let's go to 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number one says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending are commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Yes. But if our gospel be hid, mm-hmm. it is hid to them that are lost. Yes. In whom the God of this world, Satan, hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest or in fear that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. And so now here Paul is teaching, and he's talking about the honesty or the integrity of the ministry, of the ministry that they are bringing forth uh, to the people. And man, I'm going to load up the Amplified Bible. I may not get to it tonight, but you should read this 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2 in the Amplified Bible because Mm -hmm. it really, really brings out uh, a lot more uh, meat of, of what God is saying or what Paul is saying there. Uh, and the Amplified verse 2 says, We renounce disgraceful ways. Yes. Those are secret thoughts, feelings, and desires. Yes. And underhandedness, yes. the methods and arts that men hide through shame. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. says, We renounce it for this ministry that we have received by mercy. So in other words, what Paul is saying is that we were sinners. Paul, he had no problem Mm -hmm. telling people how he was the chief 
persecutor of Christians. Mm -hmm. He has no problem testifying of how he met with God on the Damascus road. Yeah. He says, I received this ministry by mercy. Amen. It was the mercy of God that, that would Amen. even redeem me and look beyond my faults yes. because of the change yes. in my heart. Amen. Paul yes. was blind for a couple of hours, yes. a couple of days yes. until Ananias came. Ananias didn't even want to hear the word of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He was like, that man is crazy. Do you know that he kills people who call on your name? You want me to go and lay hands on Amen. him? Jesus was teaching Ananias, love people, mm -hmm. connect them to Christ, yes. and yes. teach them how to All live. All right now. That's yeah. what he was teaching Ananias. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what Paul has done, I need you to go Amen. lay hands on him. Amen. I need you to go and pray for him. Amen. And when we're connecting with people, that's why we've got to pray. That's why we yes. got to ask the Lord yes. to connect us with yes. the people. You know why? Just like Ananias didn't know what Paul was dealing with, we don't know Amen. what the lady on the Amen. bus is dealing with, Amen. what the man in the park is dealing with, what the young man Amen. whose pants are Amen. sagging. He, we don't know what these mm -hmm. people are dealing with. Mm -hmm. It is not up to us to reject them yeah. because of what we see. Amen. And so Paul right. says, look, the ministry we have, we can, we got it by the mercy Amen. of Jesus. Amen. We got it by the Amen. grace of God through Jesus Christ. Amen. And you know what? Because I know the mercy of God in my life, Amen. because Amen. I know what God delivered me from, because I know what I got saved from, guess what? Come here, let me tell you Ooh. something. Because at the end of the day, those of us that are redeemed, we were redeemed you, from something. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We were redeemed yes. from something. Yes, and that's the message that we got to get out. And so he was even more eager about it because he received the mercy. Amen. And then he Amen. says, he says, look, I, we have renounced this stuff. Mm -hmm. We put all this sin business, they used to say, we put it to the side. Secret mm -hmm. thoughts. Mm -hmm. That means the things we're thinking, that's like iniquity. Mm -hmm. The things you're thinking, you're, 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 we, some people plot sexual things in their minds, murderous things in their minds, deceitful things, sneaky things, uh, secret thoughts, secret feelings, secret desireness. Look at this, underhandedness. Mm -hmm. All right? He said, look, we put all that aside. Mm -hmm. We put all of this aside, the methods and arts that men hide through shame. Right. Shame. You know you're wrong. All right. Mm -hmm. You know you're not right. Mm -hmm. And that's why people hide it. These are the people that we have to connect with. Mm -hmm. These are the people that in these last days, yes, that if Lord. they keep living with these blinders on their eyes mm -hmm. and they can't see the truth of God and they will continue to receive from false teachers and false prophets this itching ear doctrine, they're going to miss Amen. Jesus. Mm -hmm. They're going to miss Jesus. And I, we need, we should be so excited yes, about the Lord. mercy of God in our lives. It, it shouldn't be enough for us to just yeah. be checking out of here. The, the series left behind. Yeah. If he come back tonight, this room should be empty. All right. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. I would want the room mm -hmm. to be empty. Yeah. If he come back and I'm in my office suite, I want it to be empty. Amen. Well, mm -hmm. if they're not getting the gospel and I'm there and I have the gospel, right. then if I'm the only one left, whose fault is it? Amen. Mm -hmm. I can't take all the blame, but I do Amen. have some responsibility. Amen. So what does that do? This teaching is challenging even myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm praying, okay, show me. I didn't think about it till the guy left. We were at the library today. My whole family were chilling at the library. Guy sat at the table, crawled. I was studying. I ain't thought no more about it until he left. And I kicked up a conversation about shoes he had on. And he was on his way out. I said, man, I wonder if I could have ministered something to him. We have to be adamant. Mm -hmm. We have to be conscious, mm -hmm. uh, conscious of finding ways mm -hmm. to engage people. Now, it may not have been the time. Amen. I don't know what it was. I didn't think about it. I'm not saying that I thought about it and I, I rejected the thought. Yeah. Right? I was caught up in the shoes. It was talking about some similar shoes in the barbershop <laughs> on Saturday. So I'm like, hmm, is that those shoes? Right? But if the Lord had given it to me, that could have been Amen. a connection. Amen. So what I'm saying is that we have to be able to put things away. Uh, in the Amplified verse 2, to, Paul says, we refuse to deal craftily. And what does that mean? To practice cunning and trickery. Yes. We refuse to uh, adulterate or handle dishonestly the word of God. What does it mean to adulterate? To adulterate means to water something down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It means to pull the meat out of it and mm -hmm. add something less All significant right. about it. Mm -hmm. That's what false teachers are doing. Yeah. That's what they were doing in Colossae. Mm -hmm. they, they were telling them, oh, you don't really have. That's what the serpent told Eve. Mm -hmm. 
he adulterated the word of God, the command mm -hmm. yeah. that God gave Adam. Mm -hmm. Oh, you won't surely die. Uh, That's right. what it means. He said we put we put all of that to the side, but we state the truth openly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the Amplified it says clearly and candidly, yes. mm -hmm. we tell you the truth mm -hmm. that we were sinners. Christ died. Mm -hmm. We received the blood of Christ as a result of his death on the cross. Yes. And now we were able to put those things to the side. Amen. So when we're connecting with people, when we're, when we're out in the streets, we're on our job, we can tell them, you know what? I put those things away. Mm -hmm. I used to lie. My father would punch me in my chest when he called me to lie. And things I Hey, I got saved from some stuff. Amen. And that's all Paul is saying. You know, we put these things away. Why do we put them away? Because of Christ. And because we put them away, watch this. And so we commend ourselves in the sight and presence of God to every man's conscience. Mm -hmm. We commend ourselves. And then again, we talked about the definition of conscience last week. Yeah. It is mm -hmm. um, it, it, it is to uh, commending ourselves to every man's consciousness. If you put that in with the definition of conscience, is to commit ourselves to everyone's inner sense mm -hmm. of what is right or wrong in their conduct or in their motives, impelling them toward right action. So this is what he's saying is that we have the mercy of God. We understand the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. And so we commend ourselves in the presence of God to every man's consciousness. In other words, he's saying that I am committing because to commend means to commit. And that's what he's saying. I'm committing myself. We're committing ourselves to help you in your mind. Yes. That's what he's saying. Amen. To help you in your mind. To help you get your mind right. Mm -hmm. To help you get your conscience. What is it again? It's dealing with your inner sense of what's right and wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now we want to move you or impel you yes. towards right thoughts yeah. and right actions. In this case, in the sight of God. And this is how we're connecting people to Christ. We have to come to them. But if we don't have Christ, we can't connect. Amen. Mm -hmm. If we don't have Christ in our lives, it is virtually impossible for us to connect them. Verse 3, he says, if our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. Amen. Mm -hmm. What is our gospel? It's the same gospel we're giving you. It's the gospel yes. that got me converted. Amen. Mm -hmm. if, it hi if I hide it from the people who don't know it, they're just going to stay lost. Mm -hmm. And, they, and, and, and the, the fewer people we convert or witness or evangelize, that's more people for the false prophets to get to. Because mm -hmm. you know what they're going to say? The church don't love you. Mm -hmm. Where's the church? Mm -hmm. Where's the church? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get to that when we get mm -hmm. to the part of our core values. Yeah. Outreach. Connecting with people. That's that's a part of connecting. We haven't even dealt with that part yet. But it's in our core values, outreach, to show people the love of Christ. Yes. The love of Christ is shed abroad. Yes. From our hearts, we have to share it out. And so when we're going out to the people who are homeless, to the people who are without, to the people who just need help, to the motherless and to the fatherless, yes. uh, uh, that's what true religion is according yes. to the Bible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Being a father to the fatherless, mm -hmm. seeing after the widows, taking care of those that yes. are without. Mm -hmm. That's what we have to do. So if our gospel be here, it's here to them who are lost. Mm -hmm. Why would we leave them lost? Mm -hmm. Somebody got the gospel to us. Now, I grew up in church, and it was just a matter of me receiving and submitting. Mm -hmm. There are some mm -hmm. people that haven't been in church. Amen. I met a brother uh, last Saturday uh, at the brew. Amen. Brothers, come out. Second and fourth Saturdays, we have a great time. Uh, I'm meeting some wonderful men of God. And he was sharing his testimony. And part of his testimony is that he was an atheist. Mm -hmm. And he was one of the good teaching atheists. Mm -hmm. He had it together in jail. God dealt with him. All right. Met him right where he was. He didn't even know why. People in prison, he said, were trying to figure out, why are you reading the Bible? Mm -hmm. You? Mm -hmm. You're reading the Bible? Mm -hmm. And now he's been washed. He's been redeemed. He's been full, filled with the Spirit of God. And now he's... I need to tell somebody All else. All right. That mm -hmm. This is the real deal. His gospel can't be hid. Mm -hmm. 
Because mm -hmm. if it is, it's only here to them that are lost. Mm -hmm. So it's not enough for us to gather together mm -hmm. and remind one another that we save and sanctified and filled with the promise gift yeah, of the Holy yeah, Ghost. Yeah. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's appropriate. Mm -hmm. It's what we should do. The scripture mm -hmm. in Hebrews teaches us, forsake not the gathering of yourselves together as a matter of some is. So much so, so much more as you see the day approaching to exhort one another. That's why we gather at the same mm -hmm. time we've got to take the gospel and go out mm -hmm. and compel people to come. It says it would be here to them that are lost in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds, the conscience, right? Mm -hmm. He's blinded them. Who is the God of this world? The devil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Satan. He is the God of this world. He is the prince and the power of the air, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He has this. And what is he doing? He's blinding their minds. Now, what do you mean blinding their minds? If you go back to the definition of conscience, what he's doing is he's blinding their sense of right. Yes. He's blinding their sense of morally correct. Mm -hmm. He's blinding their sense uh, of moral and righteous living. Mm -hmm. He's blinding that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because they don't believe. Why is he doing it? It says less. L-E-S-T, that means in fear of or in fear that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, mm -hmm. who is the image of God, should shine on them. Mm -hmm. And so in connecting people to Christ, it's our responsibility to shine the light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what good is it to, to light a candle and right. stick it under a tree? All right. Mm -hmm. If it's dark in the room and I put a candle under this podium, it's not going to illuminate. Mm -hmm. We have to be the shining lights yes. because the enemy, the God of this world, is blinding men and women's minds mm -hmm. so that they can't understand the truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how many people are out there who want the truth? Mm -hmm. They want the truth. Mm -hmm. They want it, but they're blind and there are not enough people connecting them to Christ. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the work of church. Mm -hmm. This is the work of ministry. This is what God is calling for us to do. Yes. And I understand, I may not know how to explain it, I may not have all the scripture background for it, but I believe that in every human being is an innate desire to live right and to be governed by righteous leadership. Mm -hmm. I just believe that. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're here to do. We've got to find such people and bring them to God. We preach, 2 Corinthians 4 and 5, mm -hmm. we preach not ourselves, mm -hmm. but Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and ourselves. We are servants to you. Mm -hmm. We're here to serve you mm -hmm. for Jesus Christ's sake. Yes. That's the ministry that we have, is to serve you, to be a blessing to you, mm -hmm. to teach mm -hmm. you what is the will of God mm -hmm. as the scriptures teach it. I'm mm -hmm. not preaching what I did. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm not preaching my accomplishments. Mm -hmm. I thank God for my accomplishments. Mm -hmm. I don't water down my accomplishments. I give God all the glory Amen. for them. Amen. But my accomplishments didn't save me. Right. So there's no way to right. my accomplishments right. can save you. That's right. Mm -hmm. I don't preach me. I may preach part of my testimony Amen. that God has delivered me, mm -hmm. that God has healed me, mm -hmm. that God has worked miracles for me, that God has opened yes. doors for me. Yes. But who do I keep saying did it? God yes. did it. Yes. And that's what we have to do mm -hmm. to connect people mm -hmm. with Christ. We've got to be able to connect them that way. I'm going to go over this last scripture, John 15 and 5, and we're going to close out. And we're going to click. We're going to pick up uh, probably back here on um, on next week. John fifteen, verse five. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. It says, "I am the vine; ye are the branches. Mm -hmm. He that abideth in me, and I am, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit." For without me, ye can do nothing. Mm -hmm. right. Without me, you can do nothing. nothing. Yes. All right? You. I am the vine, Thank you are the branches. Those who remain in me Thank and you. I in them will produce much Thank fruth. You. For apart from me, you can do nothing. The living, New Living Translation mm -hmm. says. Yes, yes, and this is where we're going to pick up on next week and understanding Jesus. why we need to make sure yes. people are connected. Yes. yes. Because there is life. Mm 
Yes. There is life in the connection to Christ. We're connecting people to Christ because we want them to have life. Yes. Away from the vine is death. And in this same text, it talks about the branches that, that aren't connected, they wither. And people gather them and they use them for fire, for smoke, for heat. Yes. I don't want to be used for that kind of heat. That's not what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. I want as many people to be connected mm -hmm. to the vine so that they can do what? Bring forth much fruit. And you yes. got to be like Paul, I believe it's in the 12th chapter of Romans. He says that we ought to esteem others yes. more highly than ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so when we're out connecting people with Christ, mm -hmm. when we're bringing them and connecting them to the vine mm -hmm. so that they have a source of life, so that they have a source of righteousness, they have a source mm -hmm. of what is right, when we're connecting them, mm -hmm. Whatever their life looks like after that, I'm going to push it. Yes. I'm, not, I'm not concerned. You look, you may come out the gutter. You may come off drugs, out the crack house, I'm out of the whorehouse. And in six months, you might be on TVN. You might be traveling the country. All I'm going to say is, hey, praise God. And if there's, if it's the will of God for us or anybody on our team to be there, mm -hmm. carry your books, help you book your flight, whatever it is, look, right. glory to honor the God. Because at the end of the day, all the glory belongs to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I could sing, I'd break out singing all that song. Right. All the glory belongs to all you. Right. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs all to right. you. It all belongs to God. Yes, yes. Yes. This is what we're assigned to do. Love people. Mm -hmm. Connect them to Christ yes. and teach them how to live. Amen. And we're going to pick up. I don't want to go too much into this because I'm. A, I got three minutes. Uh, we're going to be out of time. But I, I want you to know. And if you want to go ahead and read John 15 in preparation for next week, we are going to talk about the six benefits of being connected. Yes. We're going to talk about the six benefits. Yes. The Lord says the same. The six benefits yes. of being Hallelujah. connected. Mm -hmm. All right. Purging and pruning is number one. Increase is number two. Consistent communication with Jesus, number four, uh, three. Um, the disconnection or the alternate, number four. The benefit of asking, number five. And the love of the Father and the Son, number six. That's coming out of John 15. Amen. The first um, maybe nine or ten verses that we'll look into that. So listen, I want to thank you all for your continued support of the ministry. Amen. Amen. And I'm always asking if you know somebody that yes. uh, might be interested in our work, might be interested in the movement that God is calling us to, uh, let me know of them. You can inbox me on Facebook. You can call me directly. Uh, we are going to be setting up some dates soon uh, where we're going to be sitting with small groups of people sharing our hearts, sharing our vision for spoken word fellowship, um, and inviting people to join our work, to just move forward with us, not say want to love God want to love people love God love people amen we're pushing forward amen we're working amen. Uh, towards our Sunday services amen. I know there are a lot of people that are uh, waiting for Sunday services amen and we want to we want to meet the needs of the people amen, amen. so we're requesting your prayers uh, this Saturday if you're available from 10 to noon yes. we'll amen. be right over here at the Hazelcrest United uh, Methodist Church Hazelcrest Community yes. United Methodist Church Dr. The Michael Roussel is yes. going to uh, take us through a workshop class on evangelism. Yes. And we want to get this information. Yes. So tell your pastors about it, uh, your friends, you know, your co-workers. Hey, let's learn evangelism. Let's go out and figure out or let's go see. Let's enhance it. You might yes. be an evangelist. Right. You might know what you're doing. You might have done this for many years. Come support us. Come be yes. at the table. Come yes. be a part of the discussion or the conversation. Yes. And man, as we get it together and then uh, we're hooking up with another pastor friend and we're getting out in the streets, getting our yes, badges yes. or lanyards, whatever t-shirts we're yes. getting, and we're going out. Yes. Yes. We're going to pray in the neighborhoods and mm -hmm. uh, working with other pastors and that initiative. And so we're we're not sitting idly by. I yes. know we're not yes. Uh, yes. on flagship websites yes. and we're a Sunday service, but you know what? We're coming up. Amen. We're building an authentic Amen. work yes. for Christ. Amen. Amen. And if you want to give to that work, uh, we appreciate that. Every seed that is sown uh, above our regular tithes and offering, amen, we, we certainly appreciate you for that, amen. We do have text by uh, giving by text, uh, if you're interested in that, it's the way my wife and I give, um, it's pretty seamless and easy to do. Uh, that number is 
265-330-3708, You can also donate through the Spoken Word Fellowship app, amen, and uh, we're going to be working on that as well. We're going to be giving through that and those efforts, amen. So we thank amen. God for you, and we appreciate you, the work that you do, and we thank you for your continued prayers. Amen. amen. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight. We praise you, we magnify you, and we give you the glory. Yes. We thank you, dear God, that you bless us to have your word. We thank you that we have the truth of the gospel in Jesus Christ. Jesus, we thank you for every drop of blood that yes. you shed for our redemption and for the remission of our sins. We thank you for the ministry of reconciliation that you mm -hmm. have given us so that we can go out and bring people to you. And so we ask mm -hmm. God that you would help us to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And we give you praise. Bless us as we go from this place. Cover mm -hmm. us and keep us. Go before us and make plain our ways that there be no hindrances or distractions. Mm -hmm. And we give you praise and thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Prosper your people. God, I pray mm -hmm. that you would prosper your people. Yes, give financial mm -hmm. increase where it's needed. Prosper in health, relationships, and mm -hmm. marriages. Yeah. God, prosper mm -hmm. your people. Jesus. In yes, Jesus' Lord. name we pray. Thank God. Thank you. Amen. 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 God bless you, those of you at the Park District. God bless you on the line. And Amen. God bless you on Periscope. Amen. Have a great evening and be blessed. Amen. 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 Amen.